Hey, IA Med, Salim Rezai here, and this is part three of IVIO Access. Now, this is something that I've not had come up that often, but it has come up once in a blue moon, where I have a patient that is awake and we just cannot get IV access for the life of us. Either they're an IV drug user, they're a dialysis patient that just has no peripheral uh, access. We don't want to put a central line in them. We just want to get some quick access so that we can draw labs, we can give them medications, whatever we need so that they can ultimately go home. The problem with IO access and running things through it in an awake patient is it is very painful. And so I basically wanted to find a way to reduce that pain for our patients. And I did come across something. I have the PubMed link at the bottom right corner here of a paper that basically describes the steps to reduce pain in IO infusions in an awake patient. And essentially, it is really three things. First, you're going to take 40 milligrams of 2% lidocaine and you're going to infuse it through that IO over two minutes. After you've done that, you're going to flush with 10 to 12 cc's of normal saline. And then for good measure, you're going to take another 20 milligrams of that 2% lidocaine. You're going to infuse it through that IO over one minute. So total, this whole process takes about maybe four minutes. But the nice thing is with the 2% lidocaine, you completely anesthetize the access site and the pain the patient may potentially feel. And then you can easily give fluids and medications without the patient feeling any pain. If you've ever given fluids to a patient through IO access that's awake, the number one thing they complain about is bone pain. And so this 2% lidocaine trick is a nice way to kind of reduce that. Let me know what questions you have or if you've ever run into this situation. I've had this happen two times to me in my 16 year career, but not common, but still something that could possibly happen. I hope this helps and let me know what questions you have.